Okay, there we are once again the famous Bendix Diner as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld show Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee Hasbro Kites, New Jersey Route 17 South I'm headed to meet with William H. Morrow III commercial voiceover specialist and former NFL football quarterback for more wackiness or God knows what we're going to talk about maybe more madness who who the hell knows who the hell knows now okay. I'm looking at my Twitter if you want to look up the best commercial in history can you do that yeah I've had more people look it up and said my god you're not kidding there's only shown once it's Anheuser-Busch or Budweiser it's called Tribute and don't talk during it, please don't talk. It's called tribute. And I have a bush or butter. Well, oh, I gotta get. Yeah, but don't talk during it. Amazing. Amazing ad. Yeah, and, and it was wordless, too. I told you, no voice or You're gonna hear the hoofs, and that's all you're going to hear. Yeah. Phenomenal ad. Oh, my. Well, the whole, the whole point didn't, requ didn't require any words. My brother-in-law was telling me what he found out about DWI in New Jersey. Is they go, they really go rough on you, man. They, what do you mean? That's new. That's no, been, no, they, they lowered they 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 lowered the percentage of alcohol. Oh, yeah, allowed. They, they, they screw you. Dude. It's like they said if you're if you if your car's parked and you're leaning up against it or you're sleeping in a back seat, a cop can can randomly make you take the Definitely. breathalyzer test and guess what it's now it's like point zero 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 one should be federally illegal i said to him are you serious point zero 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 one that should I, be illegal. I said that's a microscopic amount of alcohol in your bloodstream i said so in other words a big man who can tolerate so if you have a beer or two does that mean that they could dwi you he says yes that's our, that's our great system. And then you got to go to um, all these seminars to, you know. Hey, Joseph, how you doing? I think everyone in this room has untapped potential. What? Everyone in this room has untapped potential. Uh huh. Including. Prove it. I don't know. My, I know. Prove it. Remember, that was a Geico commercial. Prove it. Prove it. Have untapped potential. Let's see how. No, all the suck. All the suckers in the room think they have it. <laughs> that paid the fee. <laughs> Tony Robbins. Uh, wow, he's dressed up. Hey Joseph, you, you you got a formal outfit on. You got a suit on. Oh my God. He's all in black. Very <laughs> himself. But isn't that something? Microscopic amount of booze in your system, and they could nail you. So what? Don't push it down. I need to see it. The way they're fucking us, I don't care anymore. Do what you want. And then you, they they got to relink. You got to give turn in your license and. Uh, so what? It, it just doesn't matter. You know what I? You know what I told? You, you know what I told my brother-in-law? They they're doing it to collect more revenue. That's right. It's not the cops' fault. It's the people in Trenton, the politicians. Yeah, I know. Like I said, it doesn't matter. I don't oh, care what doing. remind me, I have a ice cold beer for you in the car. What kind? Uh, Yinling, okay, Yin lager. Not that India thing. Here. Well, I should know that by now. That's musty. Skunk, skunky, musky, musty, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's get football here. I have um, I have a booze, a live stream booze show. I was invited to on my birthday, uh, Wednesday. Um, Taylor Cream Sherry is going to be on. In football and baseball, has there ever been an arm like mine? <laughs> You know, I saw that photo of yours that I enlarged of you of you getting ready to throw the football. The Wolverines, I think. You had the mustache back then. I 
big so big so yeah I, I i i enlarged it and everything i, I love right to run on the field and even the other team would clap and the referees would clap that's expect. that'd be a great eight by ten for you to sign autographs on sure but i have great respect for most of my teammates as well as my opponents <laughs> That I have great respect for most from the umpires and referees as well. It makes me feel good. Oh, oh, Jackie touched base with you today? Yeah, yeah, we're getting there. So. But I used to love when other guys on all these other teams said, oh God, please trade for me. I want to play with you guys. You have so much fun. I made sure my team took on my personality and enjoyed playing the game. That's, you know, that's what... We wouldn't tolerate that. That's wouldn't what, tolerate that. That's what Jesse Ventura said about doing an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, Termina uh, Terminator. He but says, you know, everybody has fun on a set. I made sure everybody... We were talking a massive team. We were yeah. talking about 80, you know... I said, yeah. I made sure they had yeah. fun. No, I mean, I mean, Schwarzenegger didn't didn't take life that seriously, where he put he had to put everybody through hell no. to do a movie. Everybody had fun. I made sure the guys enjoyed themselves, but we won. They worked out. He, you know, Schwarzenegger had a brought a gym on a big trailer and everything. Nothing like football. Nothing yeah. like football baseball. Yeah, God, look how small his laptop is. Mm. Must be very impoverished, that man. Oh yeah, yeah. Quack, quack. Who Ma, took over talking? He's not there. He's up. Look, he's up there. Take his, take his laptop. Scare the shit out. <laughs> My, that's a very high tech stroller. Look, look how fancy they are. Wow. He's scrutinizing something. He's adjusting his left. Probably has the wrong prescription. It's like an undertaker. Yeah, I started magnesium today. They said I was incredibly low on magnesium. You know how important magnesium is? No, I it don't. has over 400 function, different functions in the, the body. He said it is very important. He goes, I want your. In fact, it's a prescription magnesium. Now, good. That's that was a smart move. Twice a day. They call that a macro mineral. He said, "I want you on this right away." It's incredibly low. You know, that's important for the heart and and the nervous well, system. Everything. He says that could be why you're tired a lot, and you're breathing. And yeah. A little bit. But but he, you were diagnosed as having deficiency. Yeah. My mother, my mother was told that I had to take magnesium and. Uh, Just chose what he's eating. What do you, can I have some? He, he, he's not exactly the old welcome wagon when you walk over there. What do you want? Joseph, can you buy me something? Oh, I want to win you said that. She said, let me just say I'm kidding. Hey, Joseph, can you buy me something? That would be funny, but I would be embarrassed, but I would be funny. No, because you're going to just say, no, I'm just kidding. Now, I want you, when I do it, I want you to carefully listen to his response. I know what he's going to say. He's going to shoo me away. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but he's going to shoo me away. Watch. It's above us. He, he's he's an elitist, so, you know, he... You know, he shooed me like I was a mosquito, like I was a gnat. A gnat, you know, like... Yeah, 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 it's okay, it's okay. He has no... Ask him. Does this, this guy we know, Joseph, from McDonald's, the Asian gentleman? This, this guy that we know, Joseph, from McDonald's, the uh, the Asian gentleman that supposedly does seminars, the, is he extremely rude and without manners? Oh, oh yeah, it, it wasn't, it's not being shy about that answer. Does he, does he lack social skills incredibly? Does he lack social skills incredibly? Yes, he does lack it. And do, to a certain extent, do Indians also have this personality? So do I at every ethnic group. Yeah, yeah, but try, try, try having a conversation with them that if they run a, 
a liquor store or a convenience store and, and they have no sense of humor. It's almost like they they don't they hate that we're we're white motherfuckers. You know what I mean? This Asian guy, Joseph that we know from McDonald's. Is he extremely ice cold to his own family. Look at that. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Is he just overall simply overly cold, unemotional individual? Look how it jumps right into the answer, Jimmy. Look at that. I'm surprised he, he even got a phone call. I, I didn't know he was that important. It's probably what he called that thing that's a infomercial, you know. Oh, one eight hundred uh sex yeah, sex line? For an extra you can get another one too. Hey, you know what I haven't seen in a while? Wow, Joseph, I can make your night extremely huh? Or, what are you wearing? You know, they go, what are you wearing, Joseph? What are you wearing? Wait, you see my Meanwhile, it's probably some 600 pound. Yeah. 70, 79 year old grandmother. Hey, I found out by going to, uh, wasn't the Players Club, the girl used to go to, um, um, uh, the man where Jimmy Powers used to bounce on uh, by near Path Pathmark, um, Route 17 South. Uh, that North? No, the other dance club. Um, oh. It'll come to me. Uh, well, there was another dance. Club. Yeah, there was. There was. There was one there, and uh, there was a girl who had the most nasal twang voice you'll ever hear in your life, but she was pretty. Well, that doesn't matter. When she was voice, tall and pretty. Doesn't matter when your voice sucks and everything else. She was like, like, you know, Pam Drescher, the nanny. Oh, I couldn't tolerate that. She sounded like her. Oh, I, I could not but tolerate she, but that. She was real pretty. It doesn't matter. Your voice sucks. It doesn't matter. Certain things will turn me off to a girl. But, I but, but you can be extremely unattractive as a female and have a ultra sexy voice. That is, that is possible. Well, you have some old women doing these sex lives, Jimmy. You don't know what they're like on the other end. They're old, a lot of them. Most of them are. Yeah. Or, or they're just, you know. Um, Joseph's getting ready. He's got probably seven people. His hands are waving around like he's... Like he's Obviously, you guys Yeah, keep that straight. This guy we know, the Asian gentleman, Joseph, from McDonald's. And he gives these so-called seminars or speeches. Has he ever had even 10 people in his audience? Oh gosh, no, never had even 10. Not even 10. Is the most he's ever had seven? <laughs> even, even though he's giving it away for free? Oh man, that's really. Uh, Does he just out to lift his own ego because giving these little, little tiny speeches makes him feel important. There you go. Makes you know, him feel important. Um, is is Joseph's secrecy? And mis mis mysteriousness, is it due to the fact that he might be a spy from mainland China? Yes, he's a spy from mainland China. Da 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 da. Naked gun, man. Da, 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 da. Getting wired from the coffee. No, no, no I'm thinking of the naked gun song. I know song. you are. <laughs> this guy we know, the Asian gentleman Joseph at McDonald's. Is he an Asian spy? <laughs> he doesn't believe in you, Jimmy. He's, 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 he likes playing with me. The astral world likes playing with because, me. Because, well, you make a joke of it. You I'm not. Oh, well. You'd be dangerous with a Ouija board. I'm serious. You can't do this. <laughs> oh, Alright. Oh, thank God. We don't have the humidity we had last week. I'm aware. Come on, bring your stuff. Bring that, I would at least. I don't think anybody's going to really take it. Um, no. You know what I do? I, I, I watch it. Right, make sure yeah. you're watching at least.
And they've been principals, professors, yeah. doctors. They come to the door, they they come to the door, the front yeah. door to yeah, let her naked. in, and he's naked. Na naked. I, I came here to try to talk some sense into her. Oh, you're naked? I mean, you know, I mean, first of all, as an adult. The state line NBC does that. Who's yes. that guy? What's the name of that, that segment? Right. Oh, it's. And then the cops are outside, and he goes in with the microphone. Well, they say you camera. can leave at any time. Because when you leave, you've got all the cops in the bushes, and they swarm you. Well, they right. They swarm you like you're public enemy number one. Well, you're out there trying to get a minor. That's illegal. Right. You can't now, do that. But that's that's much worse than a John getting busted for prostitution. That's that's much you worse. Pay for it. There should be nothing wrong. With no. Well, look, it's it, it's it's Nevada has no problem. I'm sure they get good revenue from it. But the health department has to actually certify those girls. They have to get examined periodically, and they have to renew their. Uh, their health department um, uh, certificate, their board of health certificate. You know, but the thing is, uh, though these people on Dateline, if that was Dateline, they're adults. They're supposed to scrutinize and say, "How old are you? How old are you?" They do. Now, they if do the ever. girl, now if the girl lies, is that the if the girl lies about her age, is that the fault? Entrapment? No. No. It shouldn't be, because sometimes you don't know. Entrapment is just the way it sounds. Anyway, how'd you like, how'd you like a tribute? I thought it was very clever. The best. You ever see some of these European uh, uh, commercials? They're really, they're really clever. Well, this is the best ever, even the ambulance. Oh, the best. tribute, yeah. I mean, that's only aired once, think about that. Well, it must have must have aired for at least a good solid week. It aired once. 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 Interesting. Well, I'm surprised for a Monday that it's not like actually busier. Now, for for a guy that is so focused on what he's doing you would think he actually gets paid to do seminars it's very strange I couldn't be a I couldn't be a psychologist I probably like I probably like there's this guy we know the Asian gentleman Joseph from McDonald's he doesn't get paid a penny for his little speeches it's completely wasting his time hmm. Is he doing this simply because it makes him feel like a big shot? There you go. I got a, I got a question. All right, what is it? About the insurance companies uh, making you do the same thing over and over and over. Um, is it is it total nonsense that an insurance company makes you uh, answer the same questions? Is it, is it total nonsense that an insurance company, when they come to visit you, make make you answer the same questions as the previous times when they've been there? Is it because a lot of people? Lie about their information uh, status. Well, that's not it. You want to know? Is it because the people want to protect themselves and update everything just in case? So okay. Know. All right. Are they doing this just simply to protect themselves and keep everything as up to date as possible? Yeah. It's just those 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 fifteen signatures were a bit much. No, no big deal. But yeah, yeah. So All right. There you go. But maybe it's probably why my doctor wants to make copies of my insurance cards. Uh, there you go. Oh, this um, this strict uh, DWI law in New Jersey with the percentage of blood alcohol. Are they doing this just to uh, collect more revenue? Well, by the Jimmy, you got it swinging all the time too soon. 
the, the stricter laws for DWI, blood alcohol in New Jersey, is this just, is this just an excuse to collect more revenue by politicians? Oh, interesting. So it, it's kind of like cops that have a, a ticket quota. Is that true? All right, let's get this. There you go. Without taxes, our sugar is still incredibly cheap today. Without taxes, are cigarettes in reality still incredibly low priced today? Interesting. They are. Right. Interesting, yeah. Now, th does this also apply to the high price of hard liquor? You know, when I saw it, when I saw rum and tequila in... Uh, Roman? No, rum, rum. The oh, rum, and rum and tequila when I went to Latin America, uh, a couple resorts. It was like 2 to $3 a bottle, and over here it's over $20 a bottle. It's insane. It's, in, it's absolutely insane what, that, what the politicians... It's the price of alcohol and cigarettes in this country, a total load of bullshit. Look at that. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I had a feeling it's like it's like pro that that ridiculous law of prohibition in the 1920s. My God, so that's when people had fun sneaking around. Now the the fact that they are obsessed with arresting moonshiners even today is that. Because they're not collecting taxes well, yeah. on the booze. That's, well, that's all. They want them. They want their cut. Ah, the politicians again. Boss Hog, Roscoe Peachco. Ah, they they're not getting any any revenue off the moonshine. Hmm. I know that. I just verified. Is that kind of like why prostitution is still illegal in most states? No. They can't tax them. Well, that's it. So why not make a legal and get taxed? That's the, that's the other way around. Like like recreational marijuana and, med and medical marijuana, which 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 creates uh, enormous revenues for. See, if I was still smoking grass, I'd like it to stay illegal. It's more fun to sneak around. I heard in um, in um, where the Denver Broncos play. I hear they wanted to uh, sell brown uh, cannabis brownies with uh, cannabis in it. Uh, you know, like, uh, being that's legal. Um, you never smoke grass, did you? No, my sister did a lot. She had the bong and everything in her room. You never smoked. You know what you missed? Where did you smoke? A lot. Yeah. Well, they had, yeah, she had, the, she had the water, the bong, the water pipe. Well, no, a bong is not a water pipe. A water pipe is a water yeah. pipe. A bong now, let me ask you a question. The, uh, when I go to the Middle Eastern store, the hookah is, I, I believe you do put water in it. You know, it's got all the tubes sticking out, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, um, um, it's amazing how uh, uh, water, no, I'm sorry, how smoke has the ability to go through water and be filtered by water and come out the other side as vapor. In other words, it, it actually, it's, it's kind of like, the defies you're science. You're all of a sudden, you never even tried it. No, but it, it filters. I for almost 30 years. No, but did you ever think, uh, like, how the hell does smoke... I know about the song Smoke on the Water. That was a dun, dun, dun. I know. Dun. But I'm saying it goes through the water, it filters it, and it comes out the other side smoke. You know what? Who cares? But it's amazing. No, it's not. It just happens. It doesn't matter. You mean like it's winning? Amazing. Like, wow. Like, wow, J Jeepers, Mr. Like Wilson. You got <laughs> It just doesn't matter. Like when a person wins the Powerball lottery, 200 mil, it just happens. And then you go like this. And you're not going to see any of it because you don't know that person. And you, go like, you go like this. Good for them, bad for you because you didn't hit. You didn't hit. Yeah. But I tell you one thing, financial independence takes a load of stress off your... Oh, my God. Yes. Yeah. Big time, big time. Do they sell? Do they? Do they sell really modern like townhouses up near Mawa, Abu Sabah? Yes, really beautiful ones, nice right? Ones. Yes, 
Because you, 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 you ever see the mountains in the background? Some of them in Mawa, Ramsey, and Upper Summer River. Beautiful. I've been in them. They are nice. I, I think that's the lower end of the Catskills. I've been to Harriman State Park. I've been to... Well, those uh, are state parks. You can't build there. No, no. Sterling, you're familiar with Sterling Forks? IBM moved, when I was in Mawa with IBM in the early 70s, they moved to Sterling Forks. It, wasn't there a, a Ford plan up there at one time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where I think, the Sheraton is now. Yeah, I think, um, and there's a Lincoln Tech, technical school up there. Um, well, that's why I'm 17. Yes. Now, you know why yeah. I know Sterling Fork? Oh, there, yeah. There's a ski There's a ski slope there in the winter. Gall Mountain. Right, and they do the Renaissance Festival. That's a oh, lot of fun. Oh, that's very packed. I, I used to go there, and it, it's like fun. It's actually fun. Well, these people live for this one around making their own costumes and outfits and everything yeah Stores. i even i even used to go to brotherhood winery in uh, washingtonville new york yeah, a lot of them they love that uh, renaissance yeah. festival it's really a pretty area they think they yeah. call that the hudson valley i don't know but it is pretty you, you know, know. so so if somebody fell into shit, they can literally buy a modern townhouse up there oh they're beautiful yeah beautiful. are you leaving or are you going to smoke we're going to have a cigarette outside then let's go outside oh you need any food no i have some okay this has been a Mega Life 21 production.